Hi everyone. Now we have topic on why econometrics is a separate discipline. So the reference uh, are taken from the basic econometrics Gujarati. Okay, why the econometrics is a separate discipline? So in the first slide, econometrics is an amalgam of economic theory. Mathematical economics, economic statistics and mathematical statistics. And the subject de deserves to be studied in its own right for the following reasons. So econ econometrics is the mixing of economic theory, mathematical economics, economic statistics and mathematical statistics. Economic theory makes statements or hypotheses that are mostly qualitative in nature. For example, microeconomic theory states that other things remaining the same, a reduction in the price of a commodity. Okay, we have in economic uh, theory, micro, microeconomic theories, development theories, we have these so many statements are there. Um, but we uh, theoretically we are uh, reading and listening, those are all of the statements, but uh, practically uh, we don't have an idea. So with the help of economics, we have the forecasting the demand, we have the forecasting the prices um, uh, with the help of economics including the mathematics and statistics also. So in this uh, statement is there, uh, other things remaining the same, reduction in prices of a commodity, okay, that is the demand principle, Others, other things are remaining same, same, because uh, uh, like, uh, uh, influencing of the factors on demand those are all of the factors is remaining the same static other thing price is changing uh, the what is the relationship between the demand and price it is a inverse relationship between is there when the price is increasing demand is decreasing price is uh, decreasing demand is increasing this will be uh, done with uh, only the other remaining factors influence factors are the same or constant ceteris paribus compulsory be there uh, uh, for that results we get the demand principle that is the demand between between the prices is the inverse relationship we are getting thus economic theory postulate a negative or inverse relationship between the price and quantity demand of a commodity but the theory theory does not provide a numerical measure of the relationship to Okay, we are theoretically we are studying the relationship between the price and quantities in inverse relationship but uh, when we are have there is no numerical evidence so the between the relationship uh, of uh, demand and price okay so in this uh, job of econometrician to provide such numerical estimates stated differently econometrics gives empirical content to most economic theory the main concern of mathematical economic is to express economic theory in mathematical form equations without regard to measure, measurability or empirical verification of the theory. So mathematical economics has providing the equations to the particular uh, relationship between the demand and price. Okay, uh, without regard to measurability or empirical verification of the theory. Uh, empirical verification is not done with the mathematical economics. Only equation has been provided by the mathematical economics to the particular relationship between the demand and price. Econometrics has not, as noted previously is mainly interested in the empirical ver verification of economic theory. But in econometrics we have the econo we have the empirical verification of the theory so whatever what theory we will have taken example demand theory okay na? in demand theory uh, demand principle the relationship between the demand and price uh, uh, statement uh, other th uh, influencing factors on demand is uh, static or ceteris uh, paribus only the demand re price relationship is uh, we have get the inverse relationship so theoretically we have to know and equation also we are getting with mathematical economics but empirical verification will be done with the help of the econometrics. So the econometrician often uses the mathematical equations provided by the mathematical economist but puts these in such a form that they lend themselves to empirical testing and this conversion 
conversion of mathematical into econometric equations requires a great deal of ingenuity and practical sin so in mathematically we have the equations uh, and this uh, um, uh, conversion of mathematical into econometric equations requires a great deal of ingenuity and practical skills okay we have the mathematical equations uh, in converted into the econometric equations we have the required the uh, practical skills uh, on the econometrics so economic statistics is mainly concerned with the collecting processing and presenting economic data in the form of charts and tables these are the jobs of the economic statistician so in the uh, uh, why we are discussing means econometrics have the scope with the uh, econo mathematical economics uh, uh, statistical economics okay and um, uh, mathematical economics okay that's why we have uh, discussed the, the uh, economic statistic uh, what is the job of economic economic statistics means collecting processing and presenting the economic data in the form of charts and tables this is the job of the uh, economic statisticians okay it is primarily responsible of the researcher for collecting data on gross national product gnp employment unemployment prices okay whatever data um, the researchers will be required uh, example a national product employment unemployment prices extra etc we will get the data uh, primarily or secondarily the data thus collected constitute the raw data for econometric work okay this is the we are collecting the raw data from the website or this so, so many uh, books and the raw data uh, constituted uh, for, will be helpful for the econometric work but the economic uh, statistics does not go any further not being concerned with the using the collecting data to test economic theories of course one who does the that becomes an econometrician okay in statistic we will have the different statistical techniques will be used of uh, for getting the uh, for getting the results with the uh, with analyzing the data with the help of the statistics next mathematical statistics provides many tools used in trade and trade the econometrician often needs special methods in view of the unique nature of most economic data namely that the data are not generated as the result of a controlled experiment the econometrician like a meteorologist generally depends on data that cannot be controlled directly okay uh, the data it is uh, not controlled experiment it is uh, uncontrolled means uh, the we have the data uh, population we have the data gnp employment poverty this is not the controlled uh, the, we, the data is not the controlled okay that's why the mathematics uh, uh, tools mathematical tools and uh, different types of uh, methods uh, used uh, with the um, uh, the data will be analyzed with the help of the mathematics and also the statistics in econometrics the module model is often with observational as opposed to experimental data this has two important implications for empirical modeling in econometrics first the modeler is required to master very different skills than those needed for analyzing experimental data second the separation of the data collector and the data analyzed the model to familiarize familiarize himself ourselves with the nature and structure of data in question so the economics is the modeler is often with observational as opposed to the experiment okay. uh, we have the different observational data have there and the experimental okay there are two sets of implications for empirical modeling in experimental okay these are two are very important for the uh, collecting the data okay thank you very much for this uh, watching this video on a basic uh, uh, econometrics so why the uh, because because of this economic is uh, a separate discipline as a separate subject uh, it is a very wide uh, um, subject to uh, it included the mathematics statistics economic theories okay so whatever the economic theories we have seen only uh, statements supply principle demand principle okay and uh, we have the 
poverty if uh, if the poverty is uh, increasing how we are controlling the poverty so um, we example we have uh, we will have the collect the data from uh, 20 years before and uh, on poverty so how the poverty is going to be increasing how the poverty uh, uh, is estimated in future is it whether it is increasing or decreasing okay this is the with the, with the help of the uh, statistics we will collecting the data and analyzing with the tools uh, analyzing the data with the tools of the statistics and we have to get the some equations with the mathematics thus mathematical equations will convert to the econometrics equations okay these are all are will be done so very very wide paper very 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 wide subject of the uh, in economics um, the economics paper and uh, in some universities in foreign countries have a separate uh, course also there in in econometrics okay in further classes we will have discussion on econometrics on different aspects in econometrics okay stay tuned for more videos thank you thank you for watching this video